guys what's up peace kids how are you doing i hope you are having a fabulous week guys listen we are going to try and start sunday school in the next few weeks so make sure that you are checking your emails and the peace facebook page and youtube page to see all the happening it's going to be starting soon and we want to make sure that you guys are prepared. You may have already gotten a survey to see if your child will be attending. We will only be starting with pre-K through fourth grade. We will not be doing toddler or nursery quite yet, but we do want you guys to get excited and be on the lookout for what's coming up soon. So yeah, guys, get really, really excited for Sunday school to start soon. We'll be back with all your church friends and your teachers, and we're so excited to get you guys back in church. Now, this week, guys, we are talking about putting God first. How crazy is it that church is starting up soon, and we're talking about putting God first, because church is so important. And I hope you guys have been missing it, because I have been. You know, adult service is just not the same for you guys. You still learn a lot, but you're not learning in the way that's best for you. And I really hope that we are able to get back here soon so you guys are learning and putting God first. I will still be doing these videos though, so you can still watch those and still put God first by watching these on Sunday mornings and learning a lot here. But we do want to welcome you guys back to church here very soon. This story we're talking about is called the Tower of Babel and it continues in Genesis chapter 11. So we are just going straight through the Bible here learning all of these stories about the beginning of time. And today this Tower of Babel, it's so interesting. What does that all that mean? Tower of Babel. Can you say that 10 times fast? The Tower of Babel, Tower of Babel, Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel, I don't think I can do it. I'm not going to do it. But anyways, <laughs> let's learn about this awesome story. So a long time ago, after God rescued them from the flood, God told Noah and his family that he wanted them to fill the whole earth with people. So they scattered out all over the land and started their own families in faraway places. But after a while, the people decided that they didn't want to be scattered all over the earth. They wanted to be back together. Kind of like now, guys. Like, some of you had to do social distancing for a while. And maybe you're only at school a few days a week. And you just want to be with your friends and come back together. That's how these guys are feeling. They were far away from their families. And they just want to be back together with all the people. So the people decided that they knew more than God. So they thought they could do whatever they wanted. At that time, everyone in the whole world spoke the same language. Where we live today in the USA, most people speak English, but there are still a few people who speak other languages like Spanish or Korean or Japanese or a bunch of other different languages that I can't think of right now, but there are a bunch. All over the world, there are tons and tons of different languages that people are speaking. And if you go to Italy, you're gonna hear everybody speaking Italian. If you go to France, you're gonna hear everybody speaking French. If you go down to Brazil, you're gonna hear people speaking Portuguese and all these different kinds of languages. But just like here in America, where we mostly have English, that is their main language. But a few years ago, and by few, I mean thousands, everybody spoke the same language. So these people found a very flat part of the country and decided to build a big city there. Think of like Columbus or any huge city that you've been to, maybe Pittsburgh or Cincinnati or Cleveland or Chicago or New York, big cities. There were no rocks to build with or trees to make boards out of, so they decided to build their city out of bricks. So these people decided to use bricks to build. They didn't have all the kinds of materials that we have today, but they did use their bricks to build a tall tower in the city that would reach the sky. Think of a skyscraper, you know those really, really tall buildings that you can't even hardly see the top of? Yeah, they built buildings that 
tall. So the leaders of these towns wanted the people to meet at these towers. They wanted them to be meeting places so that they wouldn't scatter all over the earth and away from one another. The people were disobeying God when they built the tower. God wanted them to trust in him and scatter out all over the land. But they decided that they didn't need God. They wanted to stay together in the city and build a tower to show how important they were. So God, God, he knows what's best for us. He created us. Even though we don't always understand what's going on, he knows what's best for us. And while the people were building the tower, God came down from heaven. He was sorry when he saw the huge tower in the city. He said, look at what they can do. This is because they cannot speak the same language. Just think of all the things that they will be able to do later on. They will be able to do anything. Nothing will be impossible for them. So God decided to give them different languages so they wouldn't be able to understand one another. It sounds kind of harsh, right? But God is God and he created humans so that, well, not that we can't be like him, but that we would worship him and praise him and take care of all of these wonderful things he has created for us. And we weren't doing that. God gave them all these different languages because he knew that they were working together for the wrong reasons. Instead of working together to serve God or to help others, they did it so that they would become famous. By giving them different languages, he was protecting them from going down the wrong path. When the people discovered that they couldn't understand each other anymore, they stopped building the tower. They began to move away from one another and scattered all over the land once more. That's why the tower is named Babel, because God confused the people by giving them many languages. Babel, you know, like babbling on and on about things that you don't understand. Yeah, it's the Tower of Babel. God is amazing. He knows exactly what we need, when we need it, and why we need it. We don't know what we need. We don't know why we need what he gives us. We don't always understand the things that we go through. And they're not all because God did them to us, but he will use everything for good if we let him we just have to trust him and put god first he loves us very much and he just wants the very best for us so when he tells us to do something we gotta do it guys listen to god put him first do what he says because he just wants the very best life for you and sometimes it may be hard and challenging but it is going to have the best outcome and blessing ever all right guys i hope you have a great week and remember the Tower of Babel when somebody's telling you to do something that maybe doesn't make sense and you don't understand why, but it could be keeping you from going down the wrong path. Keep God first. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. And stay tuned for an announcement about in-service Sunday school. Love you guys. Bye.